Hi right, guys, I'm going to show you how to create a segmented dome, um, which is something that they do in the sustainability class. Um, and it's pretty cool. Um, we should go, so we start off with a residential template. You can do any template. I'm going to do residential. And it's going to load for a second. Here we go. Okay. And then we're going to go to component, model in place, generic model as always. I'm going to call it. All right, so now we are going to make sure we set the plane, which should be on the first floor already. Yep, it is, so we're good on that one. And then we're gonna hit sweep, and then we're gonna sketch the path of the sweep. And then I'm gonna use this uh, circumscribed polygon. And I'm just gonna bring it out 20 feet. Sure, why not? So that works. And then I'm gonna take this um, if I go to a 3D view, you'll see that there's this plane here. I'm going to move that so it's in the middle of one of these two lines. And then I'm going to go back to modify. One second. I'm going to go check mark. And I'm going to do edit profile. Now I'm going to pick the end. I'm going to go all the way across because I want to see how long this, how long this is. It looks like it's that. 40 feet-ish, so I'm just going to type 20, take me to the middle, and then I'm going to go up, straight up, 20 feet as well, and then I hit escape, and then I'm going to use this start end radius arc, and what that does is you pick two points, and that'll create an arc, you can go really wide, or you can go kind of inverted, I'm going to go until it snaps to 90 degrees, so I'm going to hit that, and then I'm going to hit the check mark, I'm going to have to check mark again. And as you can see, we created a segmented dome. You could do it, um, if you do just a, um, a circle, you can do just a, a regular dome. <clears throat> this is kind of cool because it's kind of hard to, to make this kind of shape otherwise. And it kind of looks like an umbrella. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of how you do that. Use a sweep and then um, the polygon tool, and that's how you kind of do that. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.